What is going on guys? It's King Tuts Pro and it's great to be back. I hope you guys had a fantastic uh you know holiday uh, season, uh Christmas and New Year's. Hopefully you guys stayed safe. And in this video, I want to go ahead and show you guys how to export your video um in After Effects. Now I'm using After Effects CC, um, which is Creative Cloud. So really there is no difference except you pay um a monthly subscription or a yearly subscription. Um, but that is just, I don't know, crazy. I'm just using the, the trial right now because I don't really use After Effects as that much. So I'm not a pro at After Effects, just like I would in, in Photoshop. I don't, I don't like call myself a pro in Photoshop either. I just know how to use a program a lot. So <laughs> I'm going to show you guys how to do this. So you have your video saved right here. And this is a template that I got. Um, I'll post the guy in the description below if I can remember. Um, if I don't remember, then I probably won't leave, um, put it down there. But this is just uh, the intro that I'm going to do now from now on. So I hope you guys like it. If you guys don't like it, then whatever. <laughs> All right. So make sure you rendered it. And you could easily do that by clicking RAM preview. Now, this will take some time. Okay, never mind. That was pretty quick. Depending, um, you know, because I'm recording right now, it usually takes a long time to render. But uh, my computer is pretty quick, so that's good. So when you're ready to export, go over to layer, or my bad, go to composition, and that should be at the top at the menu bar. Um, so yeah, go up here and then go to add to render queue or option command M if you're on a Mac. Now, if you're on a PC, it's the very same thing. I think it's um, uh, within the application itself, but it's still going to be under composition and add to render queue. Um, so now on the bottom right here, it's going to give you render settings and output module. Uh, where it says the render settings, if you click the down arrow, you can get um, a few more options. You could go best settings, current settings, DV settings, which is uh, digital video, I believe, draft settings, multi machine settings, custom, and make a template. What I do is I click on best settings, and where it says quality, I could just do best, resolution full. Um, unless you want a smaller file size, you could do half, third, quarter. I would keep it at full just to keep everything just nice and spot on. Um, don't mess with anything else. Uh, if you don't want to even touch this, just click uh, cancel or don't even click on that. The output module, you do want to change that. So click where it says uh, lossless and the format. We want that to be a quick time. Now, there's a lot of speculation between which is right. There really is no right on exporting uh, a video in After Effects, but it just really depends on the person. So in this case, since it's an intro, we want it in a rough in a pretty good uh, format so YouTube can read it so what I do is I leave it at QuickTime now uh, if you're in this case you're making a, a music uh, or an audio file then you could do mp3 but I do QuickTime uh, render post render action none um, and make sure down here that the audio uh, output is set to auto uh, make sure this is checked usually if you're on CS6 and CS5 or below CC or CS6, then it's going to give you an option to check it like this where it says video output. Um, so make sure that this is checked or if you have CC like I do, then it's set to uh, audio output auto. If it's on off, then it's not going to export the audio. So you want the audio. My intro does have audio. So you can um, change this a bit more by going to format options. You can change the audio codec. Uh, you could do AAC. Uh, that's what I'm going to do right now. Video codec for for the intro itself. I'm going to do H.264. Quality 100. And I'm going to just go ahead and click OK. And click OK once more. Now the output to, uh, you click on that. And you want to go ahead and save it to a destination. What I do is I name it intro, I don't know, 1080p, um, like that and then do 2015 just so I don't mess up so where you can click on this and go to desktop of course this is gonna be different if you're on a PC I'm on a Mac so this is what it brings me uh, a little window and file format QuickTime we were to check that uh, it's gonna uh, this is gonna be different if you change it into the output module uh, or the yeah the output module so uh, click save and then once everything is done you have you have to click render and then that's what's gonna export it so render in other words means export um, not really 
for After Effects at least. Um, but render just renders the whole thing, so it kind of uh, puts everything into place uh, and it puts it into one file pretty much, like all together. And it can give you a smooth playback when you finally export it. So once this finishes, depending how long your video is, um, you know, this intro is pretty pretty short. It's like six seconds, seconds I think. So yeah, so it won't take as long. Um, but if you're, I don't know, if your video is five minutes, it's going to take around five minutes and vice versa. So it is almost done here. Um, it's not very long as you can see. So once this finishes here. So it's done. All right, now I'll just give you a little sound option, uh, or a little sound thingy. Um, and here is our intro. Whoops. Uh, so if you right click and go to get info, you will see that it is one megabyte, two megabytes actually. So that's pretty short. Now if I open up the um, the video or your video, you can check the quality. If you don't like it, you can go back to After Effects and change it up a little bit. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and mute the audio. So this is how it looks like and it is pretty nice. I like the intro. So if you guys don't like it, please tell me if in the comment section. And if you do like it, then please leave a like and tell me in the comments because that will be awesome. So that is it for this video. And if this helps you a lot, then please leave a like, comment, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Peace out.